All right, guys. We got a 15 pound brisket, whole brisket. Um, she's rubbed down with uh, salt, black pepper, white pepper, celery seed, garlic powder. Uh, we got her on a master belt. 140s with the external smoke box great smoker got the 10 inch legs on it she's smoking away she's gonna be hitting about 240 gonna run her around eight hours she's smoking away really nice and I'll hit you up with another video in a little bit when we missed her down then we're gonna wrap it Put your paper, aluminum foil, and leave her on for another three to four hours, depending on the tenderness. All right, later. Hey guys, Jamie K from Arcturus Barbecue. Uh, we got our little master built setup. It's a 140S series. Um, just got the external smoke box. Um, most of you that have these that deal with this, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, not too good, right? The external smoke box works really nice. You put your little chips in, right up in here, pop that open, load your chips in, it'll last for six hours. Okay, um, we got a 15 pound brisket in there. Um, she's rubbed down. She's trimmed, rubbed down with uh, salt, black pepper, white pepper, uh, garlic powder, and celery seed. Um, she's smoking right now. We're going to mist her down. I'm going to pull her out and turn the smoke off. Right now, maybe you have a little less smoke. We're going to open her up. Great little smoker. We got the leg extensions down at the bottom. Uh, if you look at this one right here this is my old one that's a 30 inch you can compare the size if you step back see the size i'm five foot nine so you can see how big this smoke smoker actually is it's uh it's pretty hefty it's a lot bigger than you would think you can put a lot of meat inside here okay we're gonna open her up pull her out we're gonna mess it down we'll let that smoke like that we're going to mist her down a little apple cider vinegar and water, 50-50 mixture. Just want to get a good mist on there. Keep it nice and moist. We're going to start getting a nice crust on there. What we want is to get a nice crust on the top. As soon as she gets that nice crust on there, we're going to wrap her up. Put her in foil and some butcher's paper, wrap it up, and she's going to smoke for another approximately three hours. Full tender. Temperatures are going to be up to about 200 degrees internal temperature, but the feel is what you want. You want to stick a bamboo skewer inside it, and it should feel like peanut butter, just like Harry Sue's channel. If you haven't been to his channel, Harry Sue. He's a master barbecue. This guy's got a room full of awards. First place. He's a genius. The grilling barbecue. Check his channel out. Shout out to Harry Sue's. So we'll get back to you in a little bit. And uh, but yeah, if you want a nice smoker, great smoker. Can fit a lot of me. It has all different kinds of rocks you can put in there. We got jerky racks. Comes with a nice cover. I usually put the pellets in here. The chips sometimes clog in there. So I use the pellets. We're using apple today. Okay, we're gonna kick the smoke back on. And she's smoking right up. In another minute, she'll start smoking. And uh, we'll get back to you. Next miss, and then we're gonna wrap her up and uh, put her back on. All right, guys. See you in a bit. All right, we're gonna give her another spritz. We're gonna open her up. Give her another spray down. Apple cider vinegar. All 
great. She's looking pretty good. Probably got a crust on it. Right. Starting to look really nice. We're about four and a half hours in. We're at 230 degrees. I'm going to raise the temperature up to 250. Okay, our internal temperature is 145. So we got a little ways to go, and we'll be back. We're going to hit the smoke box again. It's a little warm. All right, we'll let her go. All right, we're going to drop her up in about two hours, so we're going to drop her up in some foil and some butcher's paper, and we'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, six hours in, we're going to take her out. Then we're going to set her on the foil. And we're going to wrap. First we're going to pour a little bit of beef broth on it. And it's going to absorb it right in, like a sponge. Here. Lucy's helping too. Lucy, you helping? Cleaning up? Alright. Got a lot of help. A lot of help today. Coco, you helping too? Oh, you like that, huh? Okay. That's plenty. All right, I'll slide her down a little bit. Hold it over. So. Cut the aluminum foil a little bit bigger, but it's going to work. And that's the top. Here we go. Just going to take some aluminum foil since so it's a little short. Bring around this part right here. Place it back on. Take the charcoal lumps that we had, raise it up, and set her on. Always set the brisket tip towards the heat. Probe back in. Give us a nice and tender. And I'm going to close her up and let her go for another mm, about three hours until it's really soft when you pro poke it with a uh, skewer. Okay, temp. It's 
run at about two, 225. I'll put it at 230. Temp. And time, we're gonna go three hours. Two, three. set, turn the heat box on, smoker, fill it up with a little more charcoal, oh, we got plenty of charcoal, we're good to go, alright, we're going to let her go for another three hours, and we'll be back, alright, it's been about eight and a half, close to nine hours, we're going to take her out, shut her down, Internal temp, 197, feels really tender. We're going to bring her inside. Okay, we're going to cut her open. Look at that. We're going to let it rest for about an hour. And then we are going to cut. Okay, she's all done. We're going to cut her open. See what she looks like inside. Looks pretty nice. That's really nice and really juicy. Mmm. That's really good. You can see how juicy it is. Mmm. Cuts really easy, it's like butter. Look at that. That is spectacular. Okay guys, we're gonna chow down. And next week we're gonna do some carbonasi and some Italian sausage. So hit the channel up and we'll be back again. Have a great day. God bless.